guys. Here's the tool chest. We're going to clean it up. This is pretty dirty up there. Pretty dirty down through there. Of course, you know, it's got our paw prints on it. It's, you know, it's been used. It's still a nice box. Stainless steel. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use this WD-40 on it. I tried a little bit over here on this side. And it made it look real good. So, that's what we're going to do. So, need to find something to stand on. And uh, I'm going to get to work on it. Okay, guys, here's after. Um, sorry about the lighting. I know it sucks, but the other night, that light must have popped a, a blue something made a loud pop and went out and then tonight I turned this one on and it burned out so I don't know if that helps you any I got this up here which is going to go in place of that one anyway I'm going to put one here and I got to replace that one but as you can see hopefully it is a lot lot cleaner uh, I know it's very very shiny but it is stainless steel see the top is I don't know if let me turn this light on it may or may not help you as you can see hopefully how clean that is now and uh, I mean this box is in excellent shape there's a couple little dings there uh, I think there's a ding right there and one over here on the side there somewhere but as you can see it hopefully you can see it turned out pretty good um, these are all stuff all tools that was in the in this box she started emptying it out it's not all of them I'm sure there's more uh, but these were all stuff that was in here um, I'm sure there's more in the garage laying around all this stuff. Uh, you know, cotter pins and wing nuts, never been opened. Uh, this? Uh, roll pins, which I have some of those, but um, there's some um, o ring, o ring set down in there. But yeah, so, uh, so I do have to clean it out. I didn't clean this yet, so it's kind of dirty. Uh, you know, this is kind of like where you just throw your junk at. Telescoping magnet. There's the keys for it. So, uh, I gotta clean this out. And then I'm gonna get all my tools out of that box and put in here with all these tools once I get them situated because that toolbox there is going over here and that one will become kind of like my the top parts going to be for electronics like I'm going to mount that up on top of it and then I can put electronic stuff things like that in it um, you know the drawers still need to be clean but I want to share this with you because I'm going to tell you the story about uh, the uh, conversation I had with him about this box and how it became to be mine these are uh, those oh shoot C clips not C clip anyway uh, spring or whatever <laughs> but there's a craftsman tractor key or MTD they're all pretty much the same John Deere is different <laughs> But if you got a Craftsman MTD or anything like that, like this is cool. I've got a set of these over in my toolbox, but this is cool. This this ratchet here because then you can 
turn this handle here. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Let's see if that works. Anyway, when you turn this handle, you can. Look at that. That's by turning that T handle there. So that's cool. Now, this is cool. This was not made like this. Well, I mean, he didn't make it like that. I've made a few like that before. Um, this is pretty neat. I don't have one of these. Um, but this is just like the ratchets I got over in my drawer. The old ones I've got. So this is a, this is really cool. That's really cool. This is one of those, you know, hand type ratchets. Uh, nut spinners. Um, you know, they're not, uh, they're not all like real expensive tools. There's some Pittsburgh tools in here and stuff, but they're all in decent shape. Here's an old one here. That's an old ratchet. Uh, no, you know what this is? This is a torque wrench. So I'll have to clean that up. Um, this is a 3 h drive torque wrench. Or, yeah, torque. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, torque wrench. And there's this. There's a big half inch drive breaker bar there. Let me get this out here. This is for uh, oil filters. Pretty cool. Self adjusting. Pretty neat. It'll go both ways. This is cool. See, uh, so I'm not sure what this one is. I don't have my glasses, but. So, you know, pretty good stuff. Um, you know, again, uh, most of this stuff, like the hammers and stuff, was, I think, in this drawer, but, you know, there's some big wrenches here. There's an old socket set here. This is really, really cool. Um, and also these. These are for changing tires. Tire irons. And there's some screwdrivers, some right angle screwdrivers. These are impact drivers. You know, a mirror. Just an assortment of stuff. And like I said, I know there's more in that garage. Um, but see, I've, I've got a set of these. Same thing, Harbor Freight. Which, Harbor Freight tools aren't bad. Um, but like I did, I have had trouble with an air tool I bought from there. Now that Bauer, uh, my impact drill, I got it's still going strong. Um, this is an easy out set here. And you got your drill bits and your easy outs here. That's for removing broken bolts if you don't know, you know. And uh, there's a flaring tool. Um, and it's not all here. Some of it's here. This is a double flaring tool, okay? It's for brake lines. You have to double flare brake lines. So I don't know where all them pieces are. They, you know, they, they could, you know, turn up. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm not sure if I got one of them. Just different stuff, mechanics wire, you know, when you're wiring stuff up. Just cable. Um, let's see. This brand new I'm not sure what that says I don't have my glasses on so bear with me but this is brand new it's never been used um, I don't know what that price tag says $21 anyway and then here's another one this is a Pittsburgh here uh, torque wrenches for tightening head bolts this, these are nice um, Automatic loading pop rivet gun. Man, I wish I had one of them when I was still working at Fruitland Park when I was doing those trailers. Um, just a lot of neat stuff. Uh, let's see what's in here. And, you know, some, you know, chisels. Little uh, crow's foot here. And this is a wood chisel. These are plastic handles are wood chisels. I've got some of these. Um, so you got those. There's the knives, putty knives, cutting knives, uh, you know, scrapers. Um, who we call this a five-way? Putty knives and cutting devices. There. 
and I'll move that. It's pretty cool, huh? Isn't that neat. Different. Okay. Ah, some more putty knife, knife sharpener, another knife. I can't even see what that is. Okay. Just uh, neat stuff. So, I, I thought I'd share this with you. And, and uh, you know, there's some wire brushes. Uh, these these are for like a you can use on a Dremel, uh, but I don't know. If the Dremel was in here or not, or if it's in the garage or whatever. Yeah. So, big drill, drill bits, uh, keyhole saw. This is really cool. There we go. All the air tools, air ratchet, air guns, uh, half inch drive, uh, impact sockets, uh, you know, sh pneumatic shears, uh, pneumatic chisel. Couple of pneumatic chisels in there, um, so I uh, got yeah, a lot of stuff in here. Uh, here's a cut off wheel. Uh, here's a, another cut off wheel. Kind of like a little drum. So. I just got fingerprints on my damn toolbox. But I guess that's what it's for, right? Uh, and we got these. Got all kinds of stuff in here. Pullers. Uh, yeah, one over that side. Uh, C clamps. Had to go buy one of them. 17 bucks. So, didn't have time to run clear and get them. Some files. Uh, some cutters, nippers, uh, small bolt cutters, you know, little nippers, cut nail heads or screw heads off with, bigger set. I think, there we go, there's some, these are snap ring pliers, now what these do, they go to, if I can find out where they were, this is what you use on these things, see these? These pieces here, they'll go into them holes, and when you squeeze that, it opens this up and takes it off. Um, so, yeah, pretty neat stuff. So, yeah, uh, I think the rest of these are empty. Yeah, I do need to clean it. Yeah, I already showed you these. So, I do need to get all this stuff sorted out, get all my tools sorted out. That's why all this stuff, because all this stuff. Well, 90% of the stuff came from out of the garage. Those are all paints, um, WD-40s, stuff like that. Um, so, anyway, I wanted to share that with you now. A little scratch here. Um, still glide. But, yeah, I'll... Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, raises up. So that'll be nice once I get the uh, once I get get this all cleaned out. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, and you know I will uh, when I get it all done. I'll I'll share it with you. But right now I want to share the story with you about about this box. Uh, and it's not just a story. It's it's um, it's really cool. Okay, and I'm gonna get you on the tripod. But once again, there it is all done. So hang on a second, guys, and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so there it is. Now I'll tell you the story. Now I have mentioned, I mentioned the um, part of the story. I believe if we were live streaming I had mentioned uh, what her dad said about this box. But I didn't really get into the conversation. Uh, but I told Monkey about it. But right before, right before they, they went into the nursing home to where he ended up never coming back out you know well, he went to the hospital and then they went to one nursing home and then we ended up having to move him out this way so they could be closer but it was right before you know his last time in his own home it wasn't too long after that's when uh 
well, Hat Monkey went over to check on them, and they were both about dead. I mean, she had to call two ambulances, they had to go to the hospital, they ended up in, in the nursing homes, the uh, nursing care facilities. So, uh, one night she had to take her mom do some run some errands, so I sat there with her dad, you know, and, and we talked about his Corvette, we talked about, you know, his Camaros, and he, he wanted to know about some of the cars I've had, and, uh, you know, we just talking about older cars, you know, like 60s and 50s and, you know, early 70s, the, the true muscle cars, and uh, he knew right off the bat, you know, he, he uh, you know, he knew I was in this kind of stuff, so it was good that we finally got to sit down and talk about this stuff. And uh, came on to uh, you know the 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 toolbox. Well, because I had borrowed a compression tester off of him, and and I had taken it back, so I just you know stayed there and hung out with him for a few hours and talked while they went and did their thing. And uh, so, and I told him, I said, uh, I said, oh, I brought your compression tester back. I put it out there in your box for you and uh, I said why don't you just stick it in your toolbox he says it's not like I'm ever going to need it again he said if I do you know I know where it is I'll give you a call you can bring it by and, uh, and you know he said and, and anything you need out in that garage Marty he said get it take it keep it at your place if I need it if I ever need it again which I highly doubt I'll uh, you know I know where it is I'll I'll give you a call and let you know. I was like, cool. So, and uh, we, we was talking about his toolbox, you know, because I had one similar to it in Ohio. And it was about this size. Well, it might have been a little taller, but mine had the stereo up in the door. When you raise the door up, had a car stereo, a couple speakers. Um, but other than that, it was real similar to this. Um, but I uh, showed him pictures of my toolbox over here you know, my wooden toolbox there, that, and I told him the story about um, the toolbox, you know, how the guy that had it built buses for Barber Mandrell and, you know, a, a bunch of singers, and he also showed me the pictures of standing with the people in front of their buses, and uh, this toolbox was in a lot of the pictures, so, I mean, it was verified. In fact, the bus, he custom built a bus for... Um, little Richard and um, he built that toolbox to use because he, he was he did like the the, the cabinetries and stuff so he built that that toolbox to use on this bus and he built the toolbox in the same way that little Richard's bus was built and he, he showed me pictures of him with his arm around little Richard in that bus with his toolbox right there beside him and all the cabinetry behind it all matching. So I told him that story and I showed him pictures of it and uh, you know how I got the red velvet stuff in there for my tools and stuff and he said, man, you really appreciate tools. I said, oh yeah, I, I said, I, I, I love them, you know, because I told him, I said, that box, you know, it ain't nothing like your box, but I said, I am out of room in mine. And uh, so, I said, I, though I love it, and I'll never get rid of it, I said, because, uh, you know, Monkey bought that for me. And um, I said, I'll, you know, but I said, eventually, I said, when we come into some extra money sometime, I said, um, I said, I'm just going to have your daughter buy me a box just like yours. He said, Marty, he said, why, why, why don't you just hold off on that for a little bit? I said, hold off on it, huh? He said, yeah, and he says, uh, you know, so if you come into some money real soon, don't don't run out and buy you one of them. So he says, uh, that one in that garage is going to go to you. It's going to belong to you. He said, um, you know, I, I can't give it to my grandson. He says, he don't take care of nothing. He's seen, which is a uh, monkey son. He had seen him pull out of the driveway and start heading up the street. Ranch is falling. His, you know, her dad's wrench is falling off the roof or trunk, and he'd have to go out and pick them up. And he says, uh, I see by the pictures, he says, you know, it's, it's, um, you really appreciate things. Because I told him about my ratchets, you know, my, my, uh, which he saw some pictures of them in, in the toolbox. Uh, you know, my antique ratchets, and they're in good shape. And I told him, you know, how I, I love to use them. And, and when I get up my hand, I just feel, 
you know, you know what? There's a lot of questions go through my head. You know what? What has somebody built with this ratchet? You know how many bolts has it turned? And you know what was the guy like that that used it? And uh, he he was really touched and moved by that. And he says, yeah. He said, um, he said, there's no way. He, he's not getting the toolbox. He said, anything out in that garage that you want, I want you to have it. He says, then if you want Billy to have something, that's totally up to you. But he says, I want you to have them because he said, um, it's one thing to have, you know, tools laying around your shop. But he said, it's another to find one out in the yard when you're cutting the fucking grass with your lawnmower. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's the story. And, uh, and he told Monkey's mom, too, he says, you know, that, that, that tool chest and, you know, any tools, they're going to Marty, not Billy. And if Marty wants him to have some, which I was going to give it to him, but that's... Not no more. I'm just this is all mine now. But what the thing of it is is that was, you know this box ain't never gonna come out of this garage unless we happen to move or something. <laughs> and the only way we're gonna move is if we find a good cheap place on the water somewhere. So you know this home place is paid for. So uh, you know so we're gonna be here a while. But. This is going to stay with me as long as I'm alive. This one and that one. And after that, you know, whatever happens, happens. But anyway, I wanted to share that story with you because, um, yeah, that meant a lot to me. Because I didn't know him real well, but, you know, you know, the gearheads, like I showed you the empty drawers, how they need cleaned out. But the gearheads, I know a lot of you, a lot of you guys aren't into this kind of stuff, but I know the gearheads are. And I'm proud of this box, you know. Um, yeah, he gave it to me. You know, and um, so I'm kind of, uh, you know, when I use some of his tools like the welders, you know, when I'm welding it, it's kind of like I'm keeping his legacy alive. You know what I mean? Because he was a he was a gearhead too. Um, now he didn't have the schooling I had and stuff, but but you know he he loved he loved the cars and he loved to work on cars and he loved his tools and um, you know I got his air compressor. I got I got pretty much everything out here. Um, but yeah, I really, boy, it's hot in this garage. Um, but you know, I, I really appreciated him telling me that, and he was true to his word, you know. And Monkey's mom was true because, you know, this box is not cheap. And she said, no, this, this box, that's Marty's box now. Because I've spent hours, out, well, not hours, probably about two hours getting this all cleaned up. And that's not even the inside. But I wanted to show you some of the old stuff he's got, you know. And it's still functional, you know what I mean? Um, like like the air tools, I guarantee every one of them, you plug it into an air hose, they're going to fire up. And uh, But I just wanted to share that with you guys, especially for the gearheads, you know. I, I just wanted to share that with you and, and um, yeah, to let you know that, that they're... There's, there's some things, you know, some people that you talk to and you get to know in a short amount of time. You kind of build a bond together, you know, friend, friendship, uh, so to speak, you know, if you will. And, and you know, I mean, like I say, he could he could have gave him the belly. I mean, he, he wanted me to have the stuff because he knew I appreciated it. And, uh, you know, it's like my treasures. I was going through that one day out there. This is going to be my selling pile. This is going to be my keeping pile. Turned out the selling pile was smaller than the keeping pile because it was stuff I didn't have, and it's all unique stuff, which is going to go in here. Everything is going to have its own place and its own spot, so I can get this garage organized the way the way I want it, you know. And uh, so we got room to do something in here, you know, and and just uh, you know, so we can take care of business. You know what I mean? But anyway, I just want—I wanted to share that story with you because it means something to me, and I know um, some of you guys may have have similar issues, your similar, uh, you know, things in your life that happen like that, and so hopefully, maybe someday, you know, I'll meet a friend that that cares about this stuff as much as I do and takes good care of it. That, that maybe I can will will them to, and you know, will it to them, and and they can keep. Not only uh, Joe's legacy, but my legacy as well, you know. 
um, and, and maybe they can appreciate when they pick up that ratchet. You know, what what did Joe build with this? What what did Marty build with this? You know, and you know the sky's the limit. You can use your imagination, and um, especially when you see them scratched up and stuff, but they're still in good working condition. You know they were used, but they were taken care of. They wasn't left out in the rain. You know, I don't leave my stuff out in the rain, and so you know, tool wise, I mean, my junk. You know, like the tractor is out or that lawnmower is out in the rain, but you know, the engine's sitting in here all apart. So you know, so I'm gonna spend it's supposed to rain I know until till Sunday. That's what I checked up to until Sunday, so and this is late night, it's like eleven o'clock right now on Thursday night, so you guys will probably most of you guys will see this tomorrow, which is gonna be Friday, so um so I'm gonna, you know, be in here organizing stuff and uh, this is a cabinet that she got because all this stuff over here all that stuff on on them shelves them shelves are going to put out in the um, out in the shed to put things on and then she's got the cabinet we're going to put there I believe it's another cabinet or something and um, he's got like those little you know little plastic drawers that you put nuts and bolts in and and he's just got bins after bins uh plumbing parts um you know electrical house household electrical stuff valves uh light switches receptacles uh thermostats you know they, they had they owned a motel for 20 years so he was a maintenance man so he still got all that stuff you know pvc glue <laughs> and elbow fittings which i got a bunch up there too uh so and he's got a nice a nice workbench wooden workbench with a couple different grinders you know one's got a excuse me one's got a grinder on one side and a, and a you know wire wheel on the other and then one's got like a buffing wheel that'll come in handy for when I'm like restoring an old tool or something well I've wasted enough of your time hope it wasn't a waste because it wasn't a waste to me I enjoyed sharing that story with you but I do have a memory card light blinking so with that being said guys thanks again for watching and thanks for you know looking at this this with me and hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully you know you you can kind of appreciate it vicariously through me because you'll see this in a lot more of my videos so again guys thanks for watching shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now it's getting late and i'm hot so <laughs> we'll see you soon have a great weekend guys bye bye and take care